I'm going to work on her dress. Comes down here to her thumb. Select that area. Okay. And we'll choose right here where the dark shadow meets the edge of her arm. Control click. Right here. Down to her hand. Sideways and up, and over into the dress again, and down. You can see that her forearm looks pretty good right down to her wrist. So it's the hand and fingers, a little bit of his neck. I'm going to make the brush smaller. That's good. We can see the edge of his neck. So we're going to choose right there. You can see the curve goes up this way, like this kind of a, it's a bent line. So we're just going to imagine it and draw it in. Now we're going to choose this shadow area under his throat, under right under his jawline. We're going to make it a little more opaque. We're going to try about 50% because it fades out. Let it go. Go over it again. under the line this time. Select this area. It's a little lighter. And look, he's got a got a nice neckline. His arm looks good. Her arm looks pretty good so the area keeps getting better and better. There's a polka dot on her dress right here. So between her thumb and the neck, the dress is right in here. So I'm going to come in here and choose some of this white area with my clone tool. I'm going to make it less opaque. Try about 80 percent. Come right in here. Get this white area. Fill in between the polka dots or flowers or whatever it is. Go over a second time. I'm going to zoom in closer on where the fingertips should be. Okay. Let's use my clone tool. And we're going to work on the shirt and the suspender. So I'm going to put my tool right on where you can see the shades 
shadow is from the suspender on the shirt. Choose that. Control click. And you can see right here. It should be right there. I'm going to drag. Drag down. And up. And over. And over. Right up to that fingertip. I'm going to make my brush even smaller. And then I'll work right up to this finger. And click. And then I drag sideways. Choose this tone and drag. Guess it's time to try and actually work on the hand. I'm going to go with a small brush and work on right here on the top of the hand. Okay, I'm going to leave that, but you can see up here where it's not good. i got to bring this shadow and overlap it. But down here across the knuckles, it's not bad. Got a little dark spot right there I'm going to get rid of. And choose here. the knuckles make the brush a little more opaque down to 60 percent now we're going to line it up the way the fingers run Okay, this edge is a little harsh right here, so I'm going to try and copy right here up there. I don't know if it's going to be worth doing or not. Try it. If not, you can do it. Not like an olive, but I like part of it. Get rid of that dark spot. Go sideways. Down. You may never see this video. It depends on how badly I screwed this up. Yeah. Now I got an edge on the suspend that I like. 
I got to get blend this back into the arm better though. Got a, this doesn't look bad in itself, and the suspender looks good. I got this funny line right here between here and here. I'm going to try the heel tool on this. That worked pretty good. Going back to the clone tool, you can see how they blended those two areas in nicely. So I'm gonna, this shadow should be a little more ragged and faded. I'll make it a little more opaque up here, just like that, right here, and you can see, got a nice tone on his arm, and a believable shadow, and the suspender looks right, so let's zoom in, the thumb doesn't even look that bad, so let's zoom in, You can see just by cleaning the area around the hand, it doesn't look as bad even though the fingers are still damaged. In the next video, we'll fix the fingers, the thumb, and hopefully we'll be able to do it all in one video. Sorry it was kind of long. Thanks for watching. Hope it works out for you. Good luck. Bye.